Hello and good day first year high school students. So how are you today? So I hope you're doing fine, great and good. So today we will have a recap of all our previous lessons. So what is a recap teacher? So that is a cup of coffee or tea. Of course not. So this is not a cup of coffee. And this is not cup of tea. So this is a review or summary of all. So all it means from the start and from the last okay previous or fast lessons that we have our topic that we tackle so that is the recap of all our previous lessons so what is our previous lessons teacher so what are our previous lessons so here what are our previous lessons so we have here so we have the classroom or online class greetings so that is the time we are we're having a conversation so I'm I will be the teacher of course and you're the student so I greet you hello good afternoon first year high school student so you just say good afternoon teacher and classmates it is nice to see you so that is the classroom or online class greetings so we have the self introduction so this is the time I'm asking you what is your name how old are you where do you live what do you want to be when you grow up and next, we have the article uh, and an. So in this uh, topic, we learn about the consonants and the vowels and how to use the a and an to a words or sentence. And then the eight part of speech. So that is the noun, pronoun, adjective, adverb. So that is the eight part of speech. So do does indeed in question. So do you have a pen? Does she have a pen? Like that. Did she have a pen? So do does indeed, okay? So that is in question. So you can answer this one. So this one is answerable by yes or no. So yes, I do. Yes, she does. Or yes, yes, she did. Okay. So next, the WH question. So here, we learn about the questions. What, where, when, how, who, whose, okay, why. So that is the WH question. So now let's start with classroom or online class greetings. Okay, so classroom. So this is the place where you learn, where you meet your classmate and teacher. Or online class. So what is online class? So that is what we're doing now. So we have our online class by the Zoom and by the Google Meet. Greetings. So what is greetings, teacher? So this is a formal words we use in our online class or classroom okay in our online class or classroom so here i uh, i will be the teacher here you'll be the students i will be the teacher and you will be the student so we, we will having a conversation here so i will say good afternoon first year high school students so how do you respond you must say good afternoon teacher so s here why it's up as teacher so if we are two so if you have two teacher in the classroom so you can say teachers and classmates of course it's given that you will have a lot of classmates it is nice to see you okay so you're happy to see your classmate and teachers and next how are you today so how are you today i'm great okay of course students i'm great thank you and you so that is how you respond so i'm going to say i'm good thank you so we're not using always fine 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 okay so we're we can use a uh, different feeling like fa like great like good or like uh, okay so this is our review for your classroom and online and on our online class greetings class so next let's move on to your self introduction so what is self introduction so this is um this is gathering an information about you or asking an information about you so here we have the questions and we have the answers so all of this one here is the questions and all of this one here is the answers so here what what is your name okay so what is your name my name is what chakit okay so my name is chakit my name is ratanapon so that is the answer okay so asking about yourself your uh, name okay next how old are you so this is your age now so we're talking about your age since the starting of your birthday and your last birthday so how old are you now so you must count 
I am, you can say I am um, 13 years old. Okay, so 13. So I'll be say 13. So for me, I'm 26 years old. Where are you come from? So this is your country now. So I for me, I come from Philippines. So where are you come from? I come from Thailand. Very good. So next, where do you live? So this is your city now. So where you're staying now. So right now, we're all staying in Chantaburi. So I live in Chantaburi. Okay, very good. So here, sorry. So where do you study? Okay, so where do you study? Okay, so where do you study? So I study at, so you must to say your school. So I'm asking about the school. I study at Wat Borapa Petearam School. And next, what is your student number? Okay, so what is your student number? Okay, so what is your student number? So you must count. My student number is, so my student number is, sample for me is 100. So I can say 100 here. My student number is 100. And next, what are your favorite hobbies? So what are your favorite hobbies? So here I asking about hobbies, so it's a lot, but you can say, what are your favorite hobbies? So we change this one to why? If you have only one hobby. Okay? So if you have only one hobby. So example, my favorite hobby is football. But if you have two, so you must say my favorite hobbies. Okay? So I-E-S. So we must change the Y to I-E-S. Okay? I-E-S. So my favorite hobbies, but we use R, okay? For the plural. My favorite hobbies are basketball, uh, volleyball, and football. So like that. So next, hobbies is an activity, okay, that you usually do. Okay, next, what what do you want to be when you grow up? So when you grow up, what do you want to be? So that is your job or your dream job. So you can say, I want to become, so again, article A and N here. But if uh, that is consonant, so you can say, I want to become a policeman. I want to become a doctor, so it's okay. But if that is engineer or aeronautics, so I want to become an aeronautic. I want to become an engineer, so you must use an, okay? So don't forget. So class, that is, okay, so I hope today class you learned something from your self-introduction as a review or a recap. So now let's move on to the article. Okay, so article a and an, okay? So article a and an, so when? to use the article a and an. So where we can use it? So where, when the article a and an is useful? So here we can say, uh, okay, so this is the definition first. So we must read the definition first. So an is used when the next words begins with a vowel sound. Okay, so vowel sound. So what is that one? So it means that the next, okay, so next word, Okay, our text will start with a vowel sound. Okay, so vowel sound. So example here, blank, okay, ant. Okay, so blank ant. So what do you think we need to use here? So we use an ant, okay, an ant. So the vowel sound will be here. Example, a, a, e, e, okay, e, i, o, okay, u, and then U, U. Okay, so A, E, E, O, U. Okay, so that is the vowel sound. So don't forget. Okay, so an, ant. Okay, so because, why teacher? Because this is a sound vowel, A. Uh, okay, short vowel sound, A. Uh, okay, ant. Next, we have A. Uh, okay, is used when the next word begins with A. Uh, Consonant sound. So consonant sound example B. Okay. B bar. C car. Okay. D dot. Okay. F frag. So that is sound consonant. J G. G gross. H horse. Okay. J jar. K king. L lab. M n. Okay. So monkey. N n. So nose p parrot q quail so you can use that one the a uh, r rock s snake t uh, train b ban w wagon or x 
xylophone and Y yo yo and Z zebra so all of this one here you can use the A if the sound is consonant but except to the A E E O O or A E I O U okay so you cannot use the A at that at that uh, moment if the sound okay if the sound is vowel so next number one so we have an activity here so all you need to do is to answer a or an okay number one do you like to use blank xylophone a or an xylophone a xylophone very good number two that is blank option so what do you think oh option of course an very good number three I love to eat blank vegetables. I love to eat a uh, vegetables. Very good. Number four. I want to hire blank writer. A uh, writer. Okay. So W ra writer. So it sounds like R. Okay. Ra. Okay. Next. It's blank R R away from the town. It's an R away from the town. Okay. An. Next. She is one of blank honest person. She is one of blank honest person. So sound honest, honest. Ah, so an, okay, an honest person. Okay, so that is all uh, our lessons for today class or our review. So we will stop here at the article a and an, and we will have we have already the self introduction, the classroom uh, greetings or online class greetings. So next time we will have the Eight part, eight part of speech, do this indeed, and the WH questions, okay? So thank you so much class, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.